Hi, welcome back to Scripture Explorers. I'm James. And I'm Aria. And we're the Scripture Explorers. Do you remember Enoch that we talked about last time? Yeah, he was a prophet who didn't think he was good at speaking. But then he talked, and you said his words changed the world. Enoch was a powerful prophet and righteous man. He saw a vision where he spoke to God face to face. Enoch saw many of God's works. He saw how wicked people were being. God wept as he saw the hate and wickedness of so many of his children. God cried because of us? It makes him sad when he sees people choose wickedness. He loves all of us and wants us to live with him again someday. And so Enoch also saw in his vision that Jesus would come, die for us, and be resurrected so that we could all have that opportunity. Enoch went and taught the people these things. He led those who believed in his words. Enoch was so powerful as a prophet that even as his enemies came to battle against the people of God, mountains were moved, rivers changed their course, and the earth trembled. Enoch's words were so powerful that all nations feared him. But Enoch was a man of peace, and he and those who followed him founded a city. It's a very famous city. Any ideas what it's called? Jerusalem? Zarahemla? Those are some good guesses, but it was called Zion. Zion is a city you probably hear about a lot in your time. Yeah, what makes Zion so special? Zion was a city full of people who were doing their best to follow God's commandments. The Pearl of Great Price teaches us that they were of one heart and of one mind, and dwelt in righteousness, and there were no poor among them. That sounds like a great place to live. It was. It was so good, in fact, that the whole city was taken into heaven. That's why you may hear people talk about how we are trying to be a Zion people. We want to be so good and righteous that we are of one heart and one mind. Our goal is to live the way God wants us to live, just like the people of Zion.